yeah, we've got a we've got a good team here on site, and the, one of the challenges of running a competition like this is we've got three competitions going on at the same time. So we've got people booking in for three different competitions. We've got scorecards to be uh, made out for each of those competitions. We've got scorecards coming back in, obviously, from each of those competitions, um, and we've got plenty of screens up as well, telling people what the scores are as they as they come through. So it's important we've got people who can focus on, on their tasks and get it absolutely right. The last thing anybody wants is to see scores going up wrongly or people to be awarded the, uh, the wrong prizes. Um, so we've got a great team here. There's been a lot of work behind the scenes, as I know there has on the Churchill side as well. But um, on the admin side, really, in the organisation of the, the scores and reporting, that's what we've got the team here for. And also to make sure that people can follow what's going on through social media, um, getting information out there you know both on our website and Facebook and, and tweeting around the ground as well so there's a lot of work to be done um, behind the scenes so that people can actually feel part of it even if they're not actually here on site at the time we came here in 2014 we spoke with Rob before that and wanted to take the championships to a real sort of world standard um, we've come back again because obviously we did that we had the experience from it we wanted to learn and build from that one rather than going somewhere else and, and you know, risk making different mistakes or missing different things out. So we're back here again, which is fantastic, and we've concentrated everything on the main shooting ground site for the whole week. Um, apart from the, uh, the super final on Sunday, all the shoot-offs and uh, the Blazer Intercontinental Trophy on Sunday evening will all be held at the West Wickham House site, which is a fantastic backdrop. But until then, until about four o'clock on Sunday afternoon, everything else is on the shooting ground. And um, it's great to see people wandering around, chatting to each other, there's plenty of shooting to be done, there's pool shoots, there's have a go stands, there's practice stands, um, anybody who's shooting or not shooting, there's plenty here for them to see and, and do and just be around the atmosphere really. And I think it's great to see just people milling around, chatting to each other, they may know each other, they may not do, there's tables and uh, covered shelters for people to hide under when it's necessary, um, but it brings people together and uh, it's, it's great to see that, it's a really good atmosphere here. Absolutely, and, and it's attracting you know, the absolute cream of the, the top shooters from all over the world, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've got shooters here from about I think, 24 nations around the world. Um, we've got the top American shooters over here, obviously, with the team. Um, we've got top British shooters here as well, and uh, you know the top French shooters. There's, there's some really good depth, I think, in the talent, and it'll be really interesting to see who comes out on top at the end of the day.